was going to be coming on. I'm going to Sedona. I'm on my way. Anybody there? I should tag people. Hold on. Why am I screaming? Hold on. <laughs> I'm driving and I'm trying to tag people. options this is the one the answer for you is yes go with it and I'm getting home care oxygen raising your standards so oxygen is, is you're able to breathe right it's gonna raise your standards Ooh, I like that message red hot who else wants a message I can't I can't if you want a message you guys are gonna have to like repeat yourself or somebody's gonna have to be my secretary um, I'm going to ask for another message for Gina while I'm cruising along because, I mean, that answer was definitely for me. The answer is yes. Whoever's asking me that question, and I know who it is, the answer is yes. So for Gina, so what you get is the page of fire. This is the start of something new. Now the song, the start of something good, okay? Start of something new. It could represent something to do with a fire sign. It could just represent an opportunity or something exciting. It's, it's, they're asking you to use your original, um, your ingenuity, your originality, um, use what you have basically. Andy wants one. Okay. So, th and this could also represent somebody in your life like me. <laughs> this person is outgoing, creative, confident, mischievous, and she's manifesting mad manifester, a mad manifester. So it could be a younger person or somebody that just has a very young energy, or like I said, an opportunity, a project. That's your message. And that goes along with the start of something good. Song right now. I keep they keep telling me that it gets better, but does it ever? Help me. It's like the walls are caving in. I feel like giving up, but I'm not made that way. So somebody's struggling right now. And they need to rise and see things from a higher perspective. I'm seeing um, vultures right now. So the vulture talks about death, transformation, and rebirth. So there's something that's ending. You need to let it go gracefully, go with it. There's going to be a resurrection. It's a positive. I'm looking in front of me, the license plate, there's a wheelchair, and the number's 99, 1VH. 
So 99, nine again is an ending. You have everything you need to move forward. Stop procrastinating. The wheelchair, you, you need assistance. If you feel that you need assistance, call upon spirit for assistance. The number one says keep your thoughts positive. The universe is just taking a snapshot of your thoughts, which is creating your future. Do you like that? If not, elevate your thoughts. V is telling you victory. And H says, look at things from a higher perspective. Hawk, exactly. Hi, Christina, can you be my secretary? Andy, you have a message. We're driving to Sedona, Christina. <laughs> we're driving to Sedona and we're getting readings because I've got all my cards next to me. And after I do this with you guys, I'm gonna actually go on my work line, but I figured I wanted to bring you guys with me instead. So hi, hi. Okay, so Andy has a message. Don't give up is the first message. The next message is, wow, reconciliation. Someone is coming back into your life. Someone from the past. Now, your reconciliation is to settle things. Um, it could be, like the, the first song that we started out with was somebody wants to know, you know, I feel like there's the start of something good. And the answer was yes, right? So that was an affirmative. So somebody coming back into your life, it could be family, it could be friend, it could be lover, whatever it is, there's somebody that's coming back into your life. And it's giving you an opportunity to handle things differently possibly than you did before. And that's just, I'm just getting confirmation left, right, and center. So that's Andy's message. Anybody else have a, anybody else have a request? Andy wants one. Erica, hi Erica. <laughs> I've got these glasses that, that like they fade, right? It's dark up here and light here. So I got to kind of like look up so I can actually see. Otherwise I can't read you very well. You're welcome. Who else wants a reading? Anybody? I got to see where I'm turning. Okay, right here. See what the song is. This guy's still struggling. Anita? Okay. You know, I can actually do readings without even pulling cards, but... Um, okay, so Anita. I'm at our light, so I can actually shuffle these away. So I gotta figure out where I'm, which decks I'm working with here. So somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away. Um, they want somebody else to be happy, and so they're gonna leave. And and they feel as though um, they, it's hard for them to do it. And they think to themselves, you know, I, I don't want to do that. But I'm seeing a horse, and it's forward movement. It's time to go. Time to move forward. This person's leaving. Now, for Anita, the message you got is acceptance. Okay? So, this is this is accepting yourself for the truth and the beautiful person that you already are. People feel like they have to change something about themselves. You know, the, the beginning of that song, right? I feel like, I feel like I'm... I, I need help. I feel like the walls are closing in. I, and this person is not not seeing themselves in the highest light. So you're being told to accept yourself as you are. Your superpower is love. And it needs to be loving yourself. You're holding that wand. You're exactly where you need to be right now. Exactly. So for anybody else who's listening and who gets this message, um, it was, I, I said there was forward movement, right? Somebody wanted, needed to leave and, and they, and they were trying to, they were second guessing and for a moment they thought maybe they shouldn't go, but they didn't feel right with it. So, and then I saw the horse. So it's telling you, you are where you need to be. You're doing what you need to be doing at this moment. Accept the situation for what it is. Hi, Kimmy. Hi, Cindy. <laughs> My hairdresser. My hair doesn't look that great this morning because I slept on it. And I've been trying to get out of the house without my cats being tormented. Okay, so one of my clients is just leaving me a message. Um, somebody from Canada is, 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 is on the road, is what I'm getting. They're showing me Alberta, the state of Alberta. Um, four by four, uh, off-roading. So... I'm looking at Kevin, the name Kevin, and, I, and the reason I'm being told that is it's somebody's partner. Somebody's leaving their partner. They're going to hit the road. They need to do it. They, they, 
they don't feel they feel bad about it but they need to do it um anyway my uh my client just wrote and said that something that uh we, we did a reading for her and what i told her just happened so that's pretty exciting um okay so who's next sorry i'm, I'm kind of <laughs> I, I don't have a secretary. I've asked for a secretary. If anybody there can be my secretary and help me um, so that I don't crash. So I, all I have to do is just give you your messages. Kimmy, I'm going to give you a message just because you're there and nobody's asked right now. So I'm just going to look around and I'm going to see what the message is for you. What spirit wants to tell you. Um... Right now, it's weird. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna gorge ourselves, dream ourselves silly, and maybe. So, I got dream yourself silly. Dream yourself silly, Kimberly. Dream yourself silly. And again, accept yourself as you are. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're doing what you're meant to do, which is what you and I were talking about. That's interesting. You both got that message. Um, I'm getting, you need to start charging for your readings, Kimmy. Because, and it's not just your readings, but you need to charge for what you are worth, for your, your sense of worth. What I'm getting is cash for gold. So song right now, let's hurt tonight. Um, it's people coming in. I knew when I came home, when I was gone, which happened a lot, you said to me, that's enough. So people are coming together to talk. It's going to be hard to talk. I know that this love is pain. You know this song? Hi, hi, Ron. We can't cut it from our veins. I feel as though this is somebody who's... I'll get the lights. You lock the door. We ain't leaving this place until we both... Don't walk away. Don't close your eyes. Say love is pain, so let's hurt tonight. If Karen Sheldon is watching, this is messages for you too. It needs to come out. The talk needs to happen. There needs to be, when whether it's pain and tears, whatever it is, all of the holding everything back has got to stop. That the, there needs to be, there needs to be um, truth spoken at this time. When I came home, tired to the bone, I told myself this could get rough. I know that you feel insane. Yeah. Tell me something I can explain. This is the emperor talking. I'll get the lights and you, you lock the door. You aren't leaving this place till we feel... Okay, so right now, this is about the emperor rules over kings. This could represent a male. That is, um, he's very logical, he's very structured, he is a leader, he, um, it also is saying that this is the point, this is what needs to happen at this time. This is about going from the, the um, planning stage to the execution stage, it's time to do this. Like this song is saying, it might hurt, but let's hurt tonight. You're not leaving until we figure this out. Um, this person is, is probably more logical, less emotional. Um, but at this time, it's important not to get too emotional. It's important to logically explain and, and get to the bottom of something and speak truth. That's what's going on right now. Hey, I heard it was a frozen tundra. <laughs> okay, Christina, I'll read for you. Song, don't, don't roll your eyes. They say love is pain. Let's love tonight. Why does love have to hurt, you know? But I guess it does sometimes. It's time to get to the bottom. Okay, so for Christina, your message is transition to the spirit realm. So this is a message basically that's telling you we don't have to die in order to be reborn. It could also be telling you that there is somebody preparing. Um, I don't know if there's somebody that has already passed over in your life or somebody connected to you. But this message is basically telling you we don't have to die in order to be 
Um, we don't have to be reborn. It's interesting. I'm looking at Devonshire. My son is named Devon. My son is a religious person that cut me out of his life. So there's a death that could be happening, right? That is Devon, somebody who cut me out of his life because of his religion. And this is telling me there's a resurrection. We don't have to die in order to be resurrected. We don't have to. If somebody has cut you out of their life, you're dead to them. It's interesting, Devonshire. So your home, your home in Canada, your home in Canada. Hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting messages. This may not be for Christina then. Canada, Devonshire, Devon's home is in Canada. Um, my home is in Canada. That means my twin is in Canada. Um, okay, so the message basically is you don't need to die in order to be reborn. It's time to, re to rebuild your life and be here and live your life now for who you truthfully are. Hi, Beth. Okay, so it's not my twin. It's my twin's f stepfather is in Canada. Okay, I'm getting messages. No, it's not my twin. It is my twin. Okay, um, I'm going to skip that. I'm going to something else. Hold on. That just threw me. I'm just getting messages myself and they're... Unfortunately, I'm getting flooded with them and I don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs> I'd rather not deal with that right now. So, I'm also trying to figure out where the hell I am because I've got my map quest on and it's supposed to be telling me where to go and it's not telling me where to go right now. I'm passing by Fruitvale. Okay, so the message that I just got from myself is that there's a gay person who is a child molester and he's in Canada. I know who he is. He's Dean. I know who he is. Okay, I got it. All right, that was a message for me. And it is, it is, it is an aunt or an uncle. An aunt or an uncle. An aunt or an uncle. Dean's aunt or uncle, or maybe Dean's father or mother. Okay, I'm getting that message. Somebody that molested my child. Okay, somebody else, ask for a message. Because I want to get off. I want to get off of this. There's horses in the field. I wish you guys could see them. They're so beautiful. I'm passing by a whole bunch of horses. I'm in a, I'm in a place called Hemet. It's like a, it's a very old-fashioned place, but the animals are beautiful here. Grazing in the field. It's beautiful. Anybody else? <laughs> I, I got one for Anita, right? I did one for Kimberly. I did one for... If anybody wants a reading, you better ask me because I don't know who to talk to. And I, I got nothing really cool to show you around here because I can't turn my, my camera around. If anybody wants a reading. Hi. I'm driving to Sedona. I'm going to check out places to live. Um, I'm, uh, I wanted to go for the snow, but apparently, oh good, they just told me. I'm on the right path. I'm on the right path. <laughs> I just got that, I'm on the right path. Song right now, burn the house down. So it's time to let something go and move forward. That's the message. Pam, you want a message? Okay, and then Beth, you want one? Okay, it's time to burn the house down. So Pam, it's time to take a leap of faith. It's time to move forward. Follow your dreams. There's going to be unexpected opportunities. And the song is Burn the House Down. And I said we're on the right path. So, and I said before that I'm going to Sedona to check out places to live, right? And I wanted to go when there was snow, but there's not going to be any snow. So there's a message in that. Snow is frozen emotion. And now I'm seeing the word pelican. Pelican. Pelican talks about forgiveness. It talks about forgiveness of others and forgiveness of self. It also talks about dropping your burdens, letting things go. So as the dreamer, you're being told to step forward, follow your dreams, let go of what doesn't work for you, drop the burdens of the past, whether that be unforgiveness, whether that be sadness that you've been carrying around with you. Um, there's going to be unexpected opportunities. You're literally being pushed by Archangel Metatron. Where is it? He's over here. He's actually giving you a, a, a shove. To move forward which is interesting because my landlord kept saying you gotta go you gotta just go to Sedona you gotta go which was a message you know spirit was saying do it I knew I needed to do it and I don't even know what's coming when I get there and that's the message here 
when we take a leap of faith and we just follow Spirit's directions, there's going to be an unexpected opportunity that's going to arise. Sometimes I go and I think, oh, I'm going there to find a place to live. But what I end up doing is I hook up with somebody that gives me information about something or I learn something. Like, I, I, I had my place booked for tonight. Uh, not for tonight. I had my place booked for like five days. And uh, I found out last night, I said to the person, why, did, why does it not look like the first is booked? And he goes, no, no, it is. It's fine. And so I left it. And then at the last minute, he, he writes me back and he goes, oh, no, you're not booked for the, for the first. And I'm like, what? And, and so, of course, for, the first is Friday night. It's Friday or Saturday, but whatever night. Yeah, it's Friday night. And in Sedona on the weekend, Friday night, all the bed and Airbnbs are booked, right? And I'm like, okay, great. So I'm going to be sleeping in my car, which I've done before. But, you know, Sedona's really cold in the winter. And uh, I didn't bring my down coat. I took it, I took it out because I, I was hoping for snow and it's not going to be snowing. So I, I got a hold of my friend Ryan who lives out there. And I texted him and I said, hey, dude, I'm coming through. You know, I don't know if you're going to be around, but sometimes he, he, he rents his room out, right? And I said, is there a possibility? And he says, no, I'm going to be gone. I've got company for the weekend. I guess there's the Tucson Gem Show, which I want to go to. So maybe that means that Friday night I'm going to Tucson to the Gem Show. I don't know. But then he says, here's, here's my girlfriend Camille's number. Call her. So I wrote to this person and she said, yes, it's available. I can have it. It's expensive, but I can have it. She tells me that she's looking for a roommate. And I said, well, I've got three spirit cats and where I go, they go. And she goes, oh, we're only allowed one cat in the house, but hook up with me when you get here, we need to connect. So there's something that's coming that I don't know. And spirit is saying, they want you to follow your dream, whatever it is, follow the nudges that spirit gives you, whatever you're being pushed to move forward. There's going to be unexpected opportunities. There could be abundance because there's gold at the feet of this one. And this one's best friend is at his side. So do you need to be your own best friend and follow your dreams because maybe you're, you're letting your dreams go? I'm being shown note that my best friend is a cop because he just drove by me, black and white. Now a cop is somebody who investigates. A cop is somebody who keeps things in order, right? So um, I'm curious about that. That might have something to do with you. I know that my best friend is a cop because <laughs> he's been investigating me. And it's the time he stops investigating me, whoops, and starts just talking to me. So I get somebody's in transit. I'm in transit too. Um, so that's your message. Hi, Gina. Song right now? I got a king size bed and a PhD in the way things used to be. I like that. That's somebody who says, I'm thinking of you, and I'm, re I'm remembering. God, it's been way too long. Okay. So this is for... This is for... Um, the devil is in the details. The devil is the cop. The devil is my twin. Oh my God. Okay, Beth. Did I read... Yeah, that was for Pam. Okay, so for this is for Beth. God, my twin's talking to me right now. I remember when your friends were friends with me. I got a king size bed and a PhD of the way things used to be. So someone's dreaming in their bed. Forest Productions, I just got. Okay. Um, this is for Beth. And Beth, you're being told to defend your position. Stand your ground. Um, I'll hold this up and let you take a look at it. And what's going on here is if you can see, She's riding her dragon, right? She's in control. Her dragon is her is her ride, basically. She's supported by her dragon, which could be yourself or somebody. And you got you got arrows of criticism coming at you, or people that don't like what's going on, or people that don't agree with what you want to do. And if you can see the size of those arrows compared to that dragon's wing, that dragon just needs to take one swipe, and those things are toothpicks. So basically, it's choose your battles. And on the way here, and I'm looking at one right now, I think, let me look. On the way here, there was a red hawk, minding her own, it wasn't a red hawk, it was another hawk, it was a black hawk. A black hawk down is what I heard. So he was just minding his own business. And these air, these crows came at him, dive bombing him. And uh, I thought, you know what, he's just minding his own business, get off his ass. And I'm, and I'm hinking, hearing black hawk down. So 
this dragon is with you. You're supported. Don't let the annoyances get to you. Those those crows can't bother you. One swipe of your wing and, and they're done. And I'm getting the Indian reservation. So people on the Indian reservation are fucking with him. So don't worry about it. That's a side message. Sorry, that's a side message for my twin. They're fucking with you. Choose your battles. So the message is, you know what? You don't have to go to every powwow you're invited to. You don't have to go to every war you're invited to. Every pity party you're invited to. Every argument you're invited to. So choose your battles. You do need to defend your position and stand your ground, but you don't need to waste your energy. That's your message. Okay. Song right now, you could go left, but I'm right. You gotta make up your mind. We could go anywhere. I could make you go, oh, oh. You could go left, but I'm right. So, hey, you better wake up and make up your mind. If I can make you go, oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're going through Lambs Canyon. So I might lose you guys. If I do, I'll pop back on. I didn't do, uh, yes, I did Anita. Yes, I did Christina. I did uh, Pammy. I did um, Beth. I did Andy. I did all those people. Crows are spot on in the dragon too, right on. <laughs> and I'm going through Lamps Canyon and it's a gnarly drive through here, but I don't have any traffic. So that's another message. Um, the lamb, you, you would think the lamb is being led to, to the slaughter, right? But I got the right of way and I'm going smooth through, no traffic, no, no rain, no air. Like a lot of times there's a lot of, you know, crazy wind going through here. So this lamb's not going to, to the slaughter. There is somebody that says, I want you. You know, you're, you're way over there. You could go left, but I'm right. So you better make up your mind. I could make you go, woohoo. And I've got low fuel right now. Low fuel. So I'm going up through Lamb Canyon and I've got low fuel. That's not smart for me. I didn't realize I had low fuel. But there's cheap gas and banning. Who's next? I can't look too hard. Uh, that's all that asked? It's freezing up again? Okay. I'll come back. 